So anyway, uh, I'd given up the university and I'd gone off and done various things and I was being frustrated. And then I found this little company that I could afford to buy that the, I think the vendor couldn't sell to anyone else looking back on it. And uh, so we came to an arrangement and I was able to pay him off after 10 years. The previous boss had stayed on and I had lots of bright ideas to how we could grow the company. But of course, any suggestion I made to him, he said, well, that was no good. Uh, because if he'd been any good, he would have done it. We'd, we'd reached a point in our lives where we, we needed new products and uh, to focus on that products. And it seemed so sensible that small instant boiling water uh, should, become, uh, should be manufactured. Uh, uh, the premise, of course, was how did we devise a heater that you didn't have to fill that gave out boiling water. If there was a cold tap and now an automatic hot water tap, why not a boiling water tap? Uh, that was the concept. We made small, manually filled boiling water heaters, had for many years, but something was completely automatic. Something that allowed you to get a cup of tea and a cup of coffee when you went to work in the, in the morning, instead of that, ugh burns cold again. You know? This great brainwave of mine, we sold 62 in the first year. At the end of four years, we'd sold 272, and you really began to sort of pull your hair out and think you'd done the wrong thing, you know. Australian made and owned since opening their doors in 1947, Zip Instant Boiling Water Systems are now a feature of many of the world's iconic structures and relied upon as a trusted source of clean, delicious, safe, instant boiling and chilled filtered water. Zip systems are indispensable in hospitals, schools, restaurants, airports, houses of worship, houses of parliament and any place where tea, coffee and cool drinks are a part of life. If you're a leader of a company, you can grow the company, well then that company is going to grow with you and uh, those people in there should be, hopefully, will be inspired and collectively as a group you'll move forward.